Alright guys, we're back to the UCAC FC channel and something I'll be doing on this channel quite a bit considering I am a Manchester United fan, we will be doing player ratings. Um, it's on the United Stands website run by Mark Goldbridge and some others where we just, ra we just rate the players out of 10. Uh, this will be after most Man United games, not all but most, and I'll be uploading my ratings on each player. So yeah, let's go. First up, starting with Davi De Gea. Now, De Gea did have a very, very solid game indeed. I was very, very happy with De Gea. Obviously, only laying one goal in the net, but that one goal was an absolute screamer. Um, so you can't, you, you just can't complain about De Gea not laying that in. I'm gonna give him an eight. Six point five. That's a bit low, for being honest. But uh, I'll go some cool five. By the way, this star here means if he's man of the match for you. Next up, Aaron Wan Bissaka. I thought he had quite a solid game, could do with some work, but on the right back roll, kept most of Lee's, uh, you know, more attacking, dangerous scenarios out. I'll give him a 6. 6.7. Fair enough. Victor Lindelof. I was very happy with Victor Lindelof today. Um, I thought Lindelof did a very, very solid job on most of Lee's um, attacking line. Um, him and Harry Maguire... Paired very, very well. I actually think Lindelof was arguably bigger than Maguire today, surprisingly. I'll give him a 6, though. So, actually, well, we'll go a 7. We'll go a 7. I'm not even just saying it because that's a 6.8. I do like Lindelof. Moving on, Harry Maguire. I thought Harry Maguire made quite a few mistakes today. Is it even low enough for him as a 5? I think Maguire was still very good. I'm not saying he had a bad game by any means, sorry. But uh, I think he made quite a few mistakes. I'll give him a 5. Okay, 6.8. Alright. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw had a phenomenal game, I think. Um, I'll give him a 7. 6.9, yeah. Luke Shaw, absolutely superb for Manchester United, obviously. Coming off a great um, Euro 2020 run with England. Luke Shaw had a, a, another, just an England standard game with Manchester United. He is a very, very good player. Very, very lucky to have him. Kept Leeds attacking scenarios out, and yeah. Scott McTominay. Where do we have Scott McTominay? McTominay is, is an interesting one, because initially, I wasn't happy having him in the midfield. He's either a 5 or a 6. I'll give him a 6, though. People say 7. McTominay did have a good game, but I didn't think it was 7-worthy. That actually surprises me quite a bit. Did work, work very well with Fred, though. Talking of Fred, he gets a 7. People say McTominay was better than Fred. I think Fred was better than McTominay, personally. Also scored a banger, a banger, sorry, of a goal there, Fred. Um, yeah, very, very happy with um, Fred's performance. And uh, Obviously, I, I posted on Twitter, I shared my thoughts. I'm not a fan of playing a McFred in the midfield. I play a bit of Donny Van Der Beek instead of Fred. Like, just, just just mix it up. Even put someone else um, down the line. Obviously, Paul Pog Pogba had an amazing game. But put put Pogba in the midfield. Put McTominay on the bench. Send someone else down the line. Switch it up a little. Just don't play McFred every game, Ollie. It's just annoying to watch. Bring up Fernandez at a 9. He, a 10, yeah. Bring up Fernandez at a 9. Um, I'm not going to give him a man of the match yet. Uh, he's not man of the match for me. Very close, though, in second place. But uh, Bruno Fernandez, he had a hat trick. What else can you say? Absolutely superb working, complementing really well with Paul Pogba and Mason Greenwood. Dan James, I'm giving him a four. I, I wasn't a fan of Dan James' this game today. Way made way too many mistakes that he shouldn't be making at this stage in his career if he wants to move on to consistent playing minutes with Man United. Yeah, Dan James is a four. Paul Pogba is a nine. Yeah. He's my man of the match today. Paul Pogba is my man of the match for today's game with Leeds United. Um, he has four assists. They were all banging assists. Uh, he played very, very well around the ground. Made a few mistakes. Paul Pogba, you are my man of the match. Um, Mason Greenwood, he's going to get eight. Mason Greenwood, very, very good playing as striker ahead of Eddie Cavani, really, really enjoying how he played today, and uh, yeah, I'm giving him an 8. Nemanja Magic, 5. I can't really say anything about Magic, he wasn't on the uh, he wasn't on the pitch for too long. I'm actually not a fan of playing Magic, but you know, we played him, didn't do too badly. Jagan Sancho, first game for Manchester United. I'm going to give him a 5, again, just a 5. I mean, Magic and Sancho, 
pretty even. Like, <laughs> they didn't really do much. I'm saying Sanchez is a much better player than Magic, but they both didn't really do much. Anthony Martial. Five again. He did it. <laughs> I'm going to give all the bench players a five because they didn't really make an impact anyway. Like, there's just nothing. Now, the coach is ragging. It is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. I think he did well, Oli. I think he did well to get a 5 1 win. He made good decisions putting Pogba down the, I believe he put him down the left midfield. I think he had Dan James on the right midfield. Um, made a good decision with that. He could very easily put Pogba in the midfield. McFrag, I hate that decision. It worked very well today, as much as it pains me to say it. I'm going to give Oli an 8. I think Oli did very, very well. Everyone gave him 8.2. And 66% of fans have a Bruno's mega match. I pulled Pogba, Bruno in a very close second place. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you later.